Peace. Welcome to Faith Expressions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I would like us to discuss about the statement of Jesus Christ on Calvary in reference to His mother Mary as woman. Woman, behold your son. And addressing Himself to John the Beloved, Son, behold your mother. How can we understand this statement of woman by our Lord Jesus Christ? Because many times this is cause of intrigue because it may seem that Jesus is not respecting his mother or that he doesn't honor his mother. So how can we understand his statement? In two ways. The first, I would like us to make the parallelism. Garden of Eden, there is Eve, and there is Adam, and there is the tree. The tree, the source of the fall. On Calvary, we may also imagine it as a garden. Take it as Garden of Calvary. There is also Adam, the new Adam, Jesus Christ, and the new Eve, the Blessed Mother Mary. And then the tree of the cross. The tree of the cross became the source of salvation. So the woman, Isha, is Eve. She was called Eve because she will become the mother of all the living of all human beings. So the Isha, the woman, becomes Eve, the mother of all the living. On Calvary, the woman is the new Eve, the Blessed Mother Mary. And that is why we can understand Jesus Christ's statement referring the Blessed Mother Mary, His mother, as woman, Behold your son. We have to remind ourselves of the woman in Genesis who was Eve, who became the mother of all, of all humanity. Inasmuch as now, Mary, the mother of all the redeemed in Christ Jesus, as Jesus, the Son of God, Jesus, the new Adam, would call the woman, Woman, this is your son. Son, this is your mother. So, it is in this context, woman, motherhood, Eve, new Eve, garden of Eden, garden on Calvary, thereby the woman, the new Eve, is constituted now with the new Adam, the mother of the redeemed. So it is in this context, the motherhood of Mary, the new Eve. She is woman in the context of motherhood. The second way to understand the statement of our Lord Jesus Christ referring to his mother, Mary, woman, is the passage in the wedding at Cana. Jesus said to Mary, saying, Woman, how does, this, how does your concern concerns me? My time, my hour has not yet come. After Mary told Jesus they have no more wine, Mary just told the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Here we can understand at the wedding at Cana, Mary, woman, as an intercessor. Intercessor of the need, the need of the newly married couple. This is very important to know that humanity is a family as well. And so now she is also woman, meaning you 
not only a mother, an intercessor as well. So we have this understanding coming from the second passage from the context at the wedding at Cana when Mary interceded, interceded not only for the wedding at Cana but actually for the whole human race, the family of the human race. A new beginning with the first miracle, changing water into wine. Mary will become the woman who intercedes for humanity, who intercedes for her children in Jesus Christ, our Lord. So we are children in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. So Mary will intercede for us. Very opportune also here in this context, the designation to the Blessed Mother Mary from the mediatrix of all graces. So Mary here as a woman understood as intercessor before God on behalf of humanity, her children, she is mediatrix of all grace. In as much as she also is sharing in the suffering of her son. And so also she is privileged uh, in behalf of humanity to become our intercessor before God. So this is how we can understand the statement of the Lord Jesus Christ in reference to Blessed Mother Mary as woman. May you and I always relate to our Blessed Mother Mary with honor and devotion. She is our mother. And may we never hesitate to call on our Blessed Mother Mary for her powerful intercession for our needs. God bless. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for listening. And please subscribe if you have done so. And share this video to others. God bless.